Hey, Sabrina, you home? Yeah, I'll be right there. Okay. Whoa, what are those? I'm calling them my God glasses. Your what? My God glasses. What do you mean? Well, today in class, when we were studying about Elisha and the bad king Aram, we learned that Elisha couldn't see the miracle that God did. What do you mean? Well, Elisha was surrounded by King Aram's soldiers, and it didn't look good. But Elisha prayed, and God provided. Only Elisha couldn't see it. Oh, that's right. But how do the glasses fit in? Well, I decided that I don't want to miss any of God's miracles. So, as a reminder, I was putting on my God glasses. This way, I can look for ways that God provides. Wow, that's a great idea, Sabrina. Where can I get a pair? <laughs> I'll make you some. Hey kids, please welcome Miss Ariana. Thanks, Phil. Hi, you guys. You probably used to see Miss Pauline here today. But I'm Ariana, and I am from the Three Crosses Kids. And we're going to talk about this week's big idea. The big idea is God protects us even when we don't see it. See, we're going to do a little activity. I'm going to give you three seconds to point to some place on your body. And you're going to point to it, ready? So point to your knees. One, two, three. If you pointed right there, then you are correct. Okay, I need you guys to point to your shoulders. One, two, three. There it is. That is your shoulders. Now you have three seconds to point and put your hand on your heart. One, two, three. And there is your heart right here. See, our heart is inside our bodies. Although we don't see our heart, we know it's there because it's keeping us alive and making sure we're safe. See, that's the same thing with God. God is protecting us even when we don't see it. This story is about how God protects Elisha. In this story, you can find in 2 Kings 6, 8 through 22. We are going to talk about Elisha, the kingdom of Aram, and Israel. So... The Aram wanted to, to attack Israel. But before they do, Elisha would always warn Israel where the Aram would be. So they could always protect themselves. When the king of Aram found out, he was really upset. And he was asking, who is telling all my secrets to the Israels? And everyone talk, said it was a man named Elisha. So the king sent out his guards to go and circle Elisha. As they're on their way to circle him, a servant told Elisha and the servant was scared. And Elisha told him not to worry because there are more of us than there are more of them. So Elisha prayed to God. And as he prayed to God, he said, Lord, Open my servant's eyes and let them see. And the Lord opened the servant's eyes, and all you saw was an army of fire, horses, and men all around Elisha. But a ram kept attacking. So Elisha prayed again to say, Lord, make them not see. So God blinded the army of Aram so they could not see anything. So Elisha told the army to follow him because they knew he knew where Elisha was. So he led them all the way to the land of Israel. And that's where the Israel was asking Elisha, should we kill them? And Elisha said, no, we should not kill them. Instead, Elisha prayed to God to let them see again. So the army was able to see again. Instead of killing, they gave them food and water. So they drank and ate their food and they went home back to Aram. See, in this story, Elisha was protected by God at all costs. Although Elisha couldn't see God, God was still protecting him. Just like in our lesson today, God protects us even when we don't see it. God is protecting us even when we don't see it. 
God sent his one and only son to protect us from our sins. His name was Jesus. Jesus saved us from our sins. God is constantly protecting us, guys. Even though we don't see it, he is constantly there. Do you remember, this week's big idea is God protects us even when we don't see it. It was really fun hanging out with you guys today. I hope to see you guys soon. Till then, bye.